Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up or to create a PayPal business account that you can use later on for your online store platform, whether it's Shopify or other platform. And I'm just going to give a quick example of why you would want to create a PayPal business account and one of the reason is because if you let's say have a shopify account i already have a shopify account as well as a store on there and if you go to the settings sections you'll be able to find options such as payment and checkout and let's say if you go to the payment sections right here they're going to show you the payment provider option as well as supported payment method and one of the payment method that you can use for your shopify is paypal and you can actually use PayPal for a lot of other things. And these are just some of the example you could use PayPal for. So now that you know, I'm going to get straight into how to create the business account. So first thing first, what you're going to do is you're going to want to find this page right here. You can do that by just typing in PayPal business account creation on the Google search. And then you're going to find a link that will get you to this page right here. And first, you're going to want to fill in all of the details needed on this page. So I'm going to quickly fill that in. All right, now that I've filled in everything, I also have the option to choose whether I want to receive news and offers from PayPal through email. And this one is actually optional, but this one's right here. The user agreement and privacy statements actually need to be ticked. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then I'm going to click on agree and create account. Next, you're going to have to directly verify the phone number that you've inserted. And it says here that from time to time, PayPal may ask you to enter a one-time passcode that they will send through SMS. Confirm the phone number so that PayPal will be able to send it right to the phone numbers and the login won't be delayed. So I'm just going to click on confirm and you can choose whether you want them to text you a code or you can get the confirmation through call. I'm just going to go ahead and click on code through text. And now we have to enter the number manually, right? And then submit it. Now I finish with my number verification. Next, we're going to want to activate the account and start using the PayPal. And it says here that we will be guided throughout the way. So on each settings, PayPal is going to give you instruction so that you will not be confused on what to do. And you can either skip it for now or you can just directly set your account up. And let's say that I'm just going to set it right now. So first, it's going to ask you on what kind of business set do we have? Either we are individual seller or if you already have a company, you can also choose that one. I'm just going to go ahead and click on individual seller as my business type and then click on continue. Next, you're going to want to fill in more details about your personal data. So I'm going to again, fill it in off screen. Next, once you finish all of those details, you're going to want to insert on more details about your business. So you're going to want to start with the business name. You can choose whether you want to just use your full legal name for now, but if you already have, let's say a shop name, I'm just going to use the shop name that I have and it's going to be Eyes of the Sun. And then you can continue on choosing the primary currency for your business. So I'm going to so let's say there's going to be US dollar for now. And then what kind of things that we offer? I actually sell jewelry as well as some clothing. So I'm going to try to find that category. Let's say I'm just going to choose this one right here. Then you're going to want to insert on your monthly sales. And whether you have a business website or not, I do have a business website. So I'm going to enter my Shopify website, put it right here. And I'm just going to use the residential address, continue. And it just says that we're all ready. And the next step we're going to want to do is to verify the email address. So I'm going to go ahead and open my Gmail because that is the email that I that I use. All right, so this is the email that I'm 
got in order to verify my email address it says that it says confirm your email address to use your account so i'm going to go ahead and click on confirm email address next i'm going to want to insert my password all right and i've finished verifying my email Now the next step that you want to do is obviously to add a bank account and you can do that by click on choose your bank account and start inserting your details through there. And once you're done, you can use this account for a lot of things such as creating an invoice or request money, send money create a PayPal checkout for your shop and many more and you'll be able to also see the money that gets in into your account as well as the one that get out probably your paying bills or you're paying a subscription through your PayPal you'll be able to see on everything that is going on through this dashboard right here and let's take a look at how we can create a PayPal checkout. So we can go ahead and click on choose a way to integrate. And here you'll be able to start setting up the site to accept your payment. You can either connect to an e-commerce platform or you can also have a custom built site. And on the connect to an e-commerce platform, you'll see that there is several ways or several platforms that you can connect to PayPal. And like I said earlier, one of them is Shopify and you can also connect BigCommerce, Wix or Squarespace and more. So let's try and connect our Shopify account into our PayPal. I'm going to go ahead and click on get started. And this is how you can connect your PayPal to your Shopify. It says here that you're going to want to log in into your Shopify admin panel, click on settings, click payment, and then select PayPal Express Checkout. Within the PayPal module, click activate, and then once directed to PayPal login page, you want to log in into your PayPal account and click give permission. Next, you're going to want to click back to Shopify, and then under payment authorizations, select automatically capture payment for orders and manually capture payment for orders and then click on save. And once you're done all of the steps, you'll be able to use PayPal as one of your receiving as well as one of your paying account. And that's basically it. That is how you can create a PayPal business account that you can later on connect and use for your Shopify or other online shop. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.